had a few questionable experiences with one-ply toilet paper. Therefore, today I will be ranting about why you should never buy this despicable product. I know that there are already multiple pointless speeches about this topic, but today I'll be explaining why this is actually extremely important. Here are a few reasons why one-ply toilet paper is actually horrible. Obviously, the first reason would be that one-ply toilet paper is extremely thin and would therefore tear a lot easier. Since one layer would obviously tear a lot easier than two layers, that probably wouldn't need a lot of explanation. Secondly, unlike what many people think, one-ply toilet paper doesn't actually save you any money. The main reason why one-ply toilet paper is ever purchased is because of its price. But as you can see, according to Amazon.com, 24 rolls of one-ply toilet paper cost roughly $25, and 30 rolls of two-ply toilet paper cost roughly $20 meaning that one-ply toilet paper is actually a lot more expensive than two-ply toilet paper. Additionally, according to an MIT website, a roll of one-ply toilet paper has roughly 1,000 sheets, and a roll of two-ply toilet paper has roughly 500 sheets of double-layered paper, and therefore they basically have the same amount of sheetage, and this price comparison is actually accurate. Last but not least, has your toilet ever thrown up filthy water because it didn't like what you fed it? Well, this ridiculous product may also be the cause of it. Since one-ply toilet paper is so thin, companies would often create thicker paper to prevent tearing. Although this may sound like an ideal solution, the thicker paper may cause your toilet to choke, resulting in a regurgitating massacre. I, myself, have been through that massacre, and I could tell you that it isn't fun. <laughs> two -ply this is also the main reason why two-ply toilet paper was ever invented, to prevent your toilet from clogging. The plumbing costs alone will probably overtake months and months of toilet paper bills. What does all of this evidence prove? This evidence proves that I stand correct. One-ply toilet paper is horrible. Therefore, to all of you who are for some reason still buying this ridiculous product, you should probably stop. Consumers still purchasing this product proves that they are still extremely gullible, falling for simple marketing tricks. There were multiple, uh, sorry, clearly this is beginning to sound like an overthought rant about one-ply toilet paper, but this, but this problem is still actually quite severe since uh, the, the schemes that companies are designing to trick customers are becoming downright uncivilized. Why are we so gullible? There were multiple researches explaining this confusing phenomenon. They all boil down to virtually the same information. We, f we rely too heavily on how we feel about something, and therefore we become a lot more gullible of it, and therefore we get a lot more easily lied to. As stated in BBC, we normally just judge whether it feels right or wrong before accepting or rejecting its message. This quote just further reinforces my point. Another example of this confusing phenomenon would be, in a, would be in a research that Columbian University has conducted. In this research, they asked 50 people if a substance called dihydrogen monoxide should be banned. Dihydrogen monoxide is often found in cancer and tumor patients, can be lethal if accidentally inhaled, and may cause excessive sweating and vomiting. Of those 50 people, 43 people agreed, that it should be banned. Six people were undecided, and only one person knew what dihydrogen monoxide was, which was water. Through this dihydrogen monoxide experiment, we may come to two conclusions. People are naturally stupid, or people are naturally gullible. Because it is hard to remember high school chemistry past the age of adulthood, we may conclude that people are naturally gullible. The reason why so many people agreed was because they felt that the source was reliable. It may be due to the surveying environment, or the scientific word that was used, but we can see that people rely heavily on their feelings, how they feel about something, instead of actual solid evidence, research, or facts. How is this related to one-ply toilet paper, you may be wondering. The common history of one-ply toilet paper being cheaper in quality brings buyers to come to the conclusion that it should also be cheaper in price, which is ultimately untrue. We feel that the toilet paper should be a cheaper alternative and feel that a source should be reliable, even when it isn't. These astute companies use these unsuspecting feelings to trick buyers into purchasing their product, which increase their own profit margin but also utterly scams their customers. Although buying ridiculous toilet paper may not be particularly fatal, this problem is still quite severe since thousands upon thousands are still scammed each year. All in all, my hatred for one-ply toilet paper remains. Thank you for listening.